Pop sensation Taylor Swift didn't just watch the Kansas City Chiefs secure a 26-7 victory over the Miami Dolphins on a bone-chilling night at Arrowhead Stadium. She also played the role of a good Samaritan. Braving freezing temperatures, Swift generously handed her scarf to a Chiefs fan, Beth Vansel, during the playoff game. As the bitter cold, feeling like 38 tickoff, tested the resilience of the fans, Swift watched the game from a luxurious suite alongside Travis Kelsey's mom, Donna, and Brittany Mahomes. However, she didn't forget those in the stands, sharing warmth with a high five and the gift of her own scarf. Beth Vansel, the fortunate recipient, revealed that Swift dubbed her the Chiefs' lucky charm after accurately predicting a touchdown. Vansel shared pictures and videos from the game, capturing moments with Swift and even connecting with Hollywood star Paul Rudd, another avid Chiefs supporter. Swift sported a custom red puffer jacket emblazoned with Kelsey's name and number, designed by NFL wag Christine Jessai. The heartwarming gesture from Swift continued as she danced in the suite involving Kelsey's mom in the celebration. Despite rumors swirling about a potential engagement between Swift and Kelsey, sources suggest there's no proposal on the horizon. The couple's relationship, a major talking point during the NFL season, faces uncertainties about its long-term trajectory. Swift's return to Kansas City marked a reunion after reports of a lover's tiff following the Chiefs' loss to the Las Vegas Raiders on Christmas Day. As Swift prepares to resume her international tour in February, her presence at Arrowhead Stadium added a touch of warmth to a freezing night for both the Chiefs and their fans. However, legendary coach Tony Dungy expressed concerns about the growing influence of entertainment and celebrity in sports, suggesting it might be diminishing the focus on on-field action. Uh, Swift's viral moments during NFL games have sparked discussions about the balance between sports and entertainment in modern times. 